Hi, welcome to today's video. Actually, we're gonna start by doing something I don't really wanna do because it's kind of cold outside right now. 50 degrees, but windy, and it's that really cold 50 degrees. So this is a Subaru wheel. This came out of a, what I'm assuming it was a 06 WRX. It's a Subaru, Enki, MK, made in Japan, so it's obviously cool. Specs are 17 by seven positive 55. So these wheels are not hot boy wheels by any means. They don't have any lift. They really have high offset. Uh, long story short, the only reason we have them is because they were a gift. Thank you, Michael. And they're five by 100. I have a whole set of wheels, but they're five by 114, which fit the IS 300, the FRS, five by 100. So are the only wheels I have. Let's see what we got. I'm afraid that we would hit the strut, but actually we got we got some room there. And this is how they're gonna look in the rear. So we got we got room. Now uh, I keep talking about it feels like in every video, but I do want to convert the FRS to five by one fourteen, so I can just share the wheels between blueberry or blackberry and, and this thing so i don't have to have 50100 that will be within due time whenever it's time to change out the rotors which i got some life left we we still have to put more stuff in there but we are going to a drift hill and we're going to orlando speed world hopefully this car doesn't break the only thing we've changed since last event is this drift button which i don't think it's going to do any difference. I'm kind of ashamed of, of this. I haven't washed the car all month since last event. I still have the window paint. I don't know if you can see on video, but the car is dirty and condensation. You probably see it better on uh, like that's a lot of pollen. <laughs> so we're about to go. Tiny car. I'm taking pic. Oh my god, that's a good picture. In your fancy. Fancy phone with like seven cameras. We're here at OSW. So this is a new helmet, right? Last time I was here I was borrowing a helmet, so I didn't want to put a mount on it because it wasn't a helmet. And I, I wanted to record taking this off. I know there's some weirdos out there. It's so satisfying. Like, it's thick. I don't know. Hey, Jason from the future here. I have some terrible news for the next couple of clips. I, I'm using my GoPro with an external mic and I picked the wrong settings so I recorded with no audio. So I'm probably just gonna put some copyright free music and then commentate over the next couple of clips. So this is what we're, we're doing. Mainly because it's been like a month since I uploaded and I don't wanna throw this video away. But first lap we're going in, it came in a little too hot and then spun out. No big deal, no big deal. If anything, this is going to be good for me to see what I'm making, what I think my mistakes are. See, I'm talking the whole time and I, I'm here probably just making excuses about lifted the handbrake and blah blah excuses. Um, I'd love to clip in so you can see how big the line is. Every 30 seconds you were on track it felt like 10 minutes you were waiting in line so it was a bad ratio. Obviously I'm in C-class so you can saw somebody spun out. It, it makes me feel at home. I don't feel as bad when other people do it. Okay handbrake, toss the car in. Not terrible, not terrible swing a little too early and there's people try not to run the people over in the grass the photographers do I do not want to run people over and one thing I wanted to know at the end section of this course I have no idea what to do I feel like the car is underpowered to do anything and I probably don't have enough seat time to actually execute anything that looks cool so I most of the time I'm just cruising at the end of the line So after the, the first session for C-Class was over, I decided to go over to the Oval just to mess around with the car. 
Yep, yep, there we go. Little handbrake. And uh, I, I gotta say, having the, that drift button is, I don't know what it is, but it makes such a big difference. I'm gonna have a handbrake button on every single one of my cars now. It made the best $7 ever. Again, just testing the handbrake and spinning out. I. I, th I think I was actually trying to do like a giant figure eight and then I in second gear and I keep spinning out but I mean see I C class always starts first in these events and so you basically go on the track with no warm up so I think it'd be I think I would do slightly better if I, I went to the oval first and then went onto the skip pad regardless I think this is the second session after having a little break and watching all the people drive and nope spawn out again mm -mm -mm. let's see what i do now hit a little clutch kick to get the car sideways and it strains out again so one thing i've noticed about this car is that you have to be an 80 percent or more throttle to actually do anything if you don't, it strains out on me. I'm not sure if that's just a, a driver error, but here we go. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Swing a little too early. And I didn't hit a cone, I just went cruise by them. Let's see, I, I think I st eventually I start clutch kicking through those cones, but being that I have to make sure the car survives to drive back the four hour trip, I wasn't taking any risk, uh, I wasn't clutch kicking it, and I wasn't launching the car from the start line, so I was trying to be a little conservative and it not do unnecessary harm. And I left a little section of me drinking water because it was really hot that day. And obviously if we're running no AC. Um, I think the 370Z in front of me, he he was definitely not... He was really good. I, I felt like he was in B class, but he was in C class. I don't know. Being behind someone that didn't spin out every time uh, was, was kind of a nice motivator. And this is a repeated clip. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Let's see, good, good, good. Clutch kick and full lock. I, yep. <laughs> this is my anger, full throttle turnaround after I spin out. Again, go through the awkward little end section of the track that I have no idea what to do. And I think this is the, the final session of C-Class. You can see the sun is just beaming. There we go. It's such a weird feeling. Let's strain out again. So when you letting go of that steering wheel so it can set, recenter, it's such a weird feeling when you're going, I don't know, 40 miles an hour, you know, and you're, you just don't want to let go of that steering wheel. And, Getting over that fear is what I'm slowly starting to see, especially now that I'm watching the video. <laughs> More excuses about the car straightening out. Oh, okay. Not very clean, but hey, we're, we're, we're going. I think my whole goal for this event was to link those first two corners, and I counted that. It wasn't very clean, it was super sloppy, but... I counted that 